What up, homies? JR here in the Hits Hangout in the Zoom room with a very special guest. Liz. So excited to have you with me. Jax, what's good? <laughs> I was like, don't talk yet. That was it. <laughs> no, it's I, all good. I, I interrupted the intro. I got too excited. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is so cool. We have we have so much to talk about. We have we have a huge smash single, Victoria's Secret. Oh. And we have you coming out here to the Mile High City, to Denver, Colorado, to perform uh, for our ceremonious tree lighting. You know, I am like so excited for this, mainly because right around this time of year, ever since I moved to LA, which is about six years ago, I get really depressed because they do all the weird fake snow and uh, the season, uh, it's just like still 90 degrees out here. It's super weird. I feel like I'm in some sort of weird, simulation or something and i like i grew up in new york and i grew up feeling that like crisp fall approaching winter weather oh, yeah. and this is gonna be so much fun i love colorado like i'm just very excited yeah we'll definitely have some real snow for you that's for sure mm. uh i just there's like there's when i when i think of jacks there's one thing that pops out into my mind and it's from babysitter to billboard <laughs> powerhouse <laughs> What a headline. <laughs> Isn't that kind of crazy, though? The because... ironic part about it is that I'm more of a babysitter now than I ever was. <laughs> because, because, like, people now look at me like a babysitter. So when they come over with their kids and we do a little collaboration, they're like, all right, well, here's my kids. See ya. And then she like, <laughs> leave for, like, I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> You're, like, the most on-demand, like, babysitter in the market now. You know? I actually, you know, it's, I, I thought about opening up a charity, uh, like a babysitter charity where I can like do internships with kids and uh, send them out into people that really need help with their kids, you know? That would be beautiful. I know, that's a really rough draft. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, it was a little girl that you were babysitting for that you ultimately wrote Victoria's Secret kind of for to like back her up. Is that the story? Yeah. Yeah, so Chelsea is her name is she's uh, we have a little babysitter series on my TikTok where it's like this is the girl I babysit. Hi, I'm Chelsea, and then she says something with profanities, and I yell at her, <laughs> and um, that's pretty much our relationship in general. I started babysitting her before the pandemic, and then TikTok happened, and we started doing TikToks together <laughs> because it was she wanted to prove to her friends that her babysitter was a TikToker. Yeah. So we um she came, we had a we had a rough day and she was telling me that she was going through something with her body and her friend, somebody said something to her and it made her cry. And I, and uh, it just drove me kind of insane. And it was like a light bulb moment that I needed to stop that in its tracks before it got to a point where now I'm 26 and I spent all these years not being kind to myself. And I look in the mirror and going through all kinds of dysmorphia and eating disorders. And I needed to make sure that Chelsea wasn't in that same place as she got older. Uh, along with a bunch of other kids on TikTok that reach out to me on the daily saying like, I, I feel fat. I hate, I hate my body hair, my, my skin, this, and all these things that were just like totally normal human things. And I was in the same boat and I'm like, I, it's my responsibility now at this point. I have a following. So I wrote a song and here we are. It's unbelievable. Very like, strange seriously. times. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. That's so cool how you can take such a such a personal, such a private, such like a you know, such a situation like that and you can turn it into this like rock girl anthem. Well, it's funny, like it didn't start like a rock girl anthem because it was so personal and it because it was a painful topic, I I always wanted to write about it. Like I had the concept Victoria's Secret in my notes for years. Really? Yeah, I never, I tried to write it and couldn't. And then that time came up and I was like, all right, now's the time. And it's not for me, it's for her. And it's for the kids her age. I randomly have all these followers on TikTok. I got to do something with it, right? But it, I didn't feel like I was going to, I was in a place to preach because I'm not. Bet like between us and the world now, I'm not in a place to preach. I have good days and bad days. But I think like the coolest part about posting something as a songwriter and people will take it and make their own stories out of it and relate to it in their own ways. That is like you dig your job as a writer, you know, you, you told your own story and it was it, people connected to it. And that's like a miracle in the songwriting world. Right. So I'm beyond grateful, but it started as a ballad. It wasn't like, wow. I was like, Oh, I'm going to write this. Let's write how I feel. And then I'm like, God, I wish somebody would have told me. And I started looking at the lyrics and visually, uh, and I'm like, wait a second, I'm not, I am not 
sad. I am mad. I'm like, this is not going to be a ballad. This needs to be like a sarcastic song that makes fun of all this crap that we were fed growing up. So hopefully it is it that is. way. Yeah. We're spinning it hard here on hits. The song sounds Thank so you good. Guys. Thank I you. cannot wait to hear it at the tree lighting in Castle Rock this Saturday. Can't believe I, this. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around what kind of show can the Mahai expect from Jax? You know, like I, I think like for the first time in my life, everything's coming really full circle about where my roots came from, right? So like, obviously my TikToks is a little more theatrical and a little goofier and I grew up in theater, but I also grew up a huge chunk of my life was like Warped Tour, Pop Punk, early 2000s, you know, all those things that I, I really love, right? I'm out here in my, my Simple Plan hoodie right now. I so love I'm like, Simple Plan. I thought they this gave was... this to me. <laughs> oh, you're so way lucky. cooler. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I'm never watching this. <laughs> no, I, 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 my set's like a combination of all the things, um, especially when I have a band with me, but a lot of it's just me on piano being goofy and improving with the audience. Sometimes I'll write a song for someone in the audience, you know, if, if somebody has a story, I, that's a cool one to tell and I can rhyme quick enough on my feet. Yeah. And then, so it's, it's like half TikTok set up, like half Jax's living room and then half all the things I dreamed of just being with a band and, and head banging and having a good time. So it's a little bit of everything and it's 100,000% me for the first time ever. So it's really, really cool. I love that. We are definitely looking forward to it. I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting tweets. Really? I'm getting DMs. Oh my gosh. Are you oh, kidding man. me? Of course. I wish we yeah. had some names here. We should throw out some names. Yeah. Shout I mean, outs. Just, it's like I, I had a girl call my show and she, she said, I'm leaving my vacation early in Florida so what? I can come see Jax. Straight up. Whoa. Her name. What? like What's her name? Crazy. Oh my gosh. Well, anonymous that has a name. <laughs> I'm sorry we can't remember. It's on the tip of our tongues right now, but yeah. thank you for leaving your vacation. I hope I get to meet you and hug you in person. We'll find you. I feel like we need to find this person. We do, and I will. I will okay. find her name. I'm gonna like dig back through. through I gotta my give call. her a big hug because I don't think <laughs> it would take a lot to get me to leave a vacation. So <laughs> right, yeah. I feel like I gotta put on the show and I gotta give her my all now. <laughs> no, you will. One of the things that you brought up real quick was. TikTok. And I know that's when I first was introduced to you. I remember I was doing radio in Nashville and I came across your cover or your parody version of driver's license. <laughs> and I played that <laughs> on, on the air because I just thought it was so funny. And now I remember you did that. Do you really? Yeah. Because you were the, like, it, it was like one of the first press coverages I got of a TikTok I did. And I was like, this is so crazy. This is on the radio, like, and they're playing it on their morning drive. Like, this is, yeah. I totally remember that. I was, I sent it to my mom. And it made it the family group chat. That's, I made the family <laughs> yeah. group chat. I need that on a t-shirt. Mainly because my parents were like all bothered that they were like, we don't sound like this. Shut the <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of us. And I'm like, look, oh. you're on the radio. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. And now to be full circle, chatting with you here, about to meet you on Saturday. I'm, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, do you have any final words for Denver, Colorado, for uh, the Mahai City? I, my final words are that I don't have an outfit planned quite yet. So if you guys want to help me on how, I don't know exactly what the weather is, but I know I'll have to be bundled, I'm sure. And I haven't worn a jacket, like a heavy jacket yet. So everyone give me advice on what to wear, send me a DM because uh, your girl needs help. <laughs> I don't know if my Amazon shopping can cover this one. <laughs> it won't make it in time. No, it won't. So please help, send help quick. <laughs> that is so cool. Now, before we uh, wrap this up here, uh, I want to ask you one thing. I love to do random word challenges on my TikTok. Whoa. And I'd love for Jax to challenge me to use a random word of your choosing on the air the next time I talk up Victoria's Secret. See, I won't say it now because it'll be the next time, right? I'm going to hold this word or you want me to say it now? Well, you it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a word that any word in, in your mind okay. and, and you're going to challenge me to use it next time I talk up your song. Okay, I'll tell you. I was going to say orange because it's like... Why not? That's the word. Okay. The word is girl. Oh, is it a word? Is it a rhyme challenge almost? No, it can be rhyme? any word oh, in, any in your word. mind. Oh my goodness. This is so hard. Um, the word is boobs. 
yeah. accepted. And you I can't you know what? Here. You guys are gracious enough to play my song on the radio, which says boobs in it. And there are some states out there that still won't say boobs on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we'll stick with the good ones. We'll stick with boobs. Absolutely. Hey, I'm so. <laughs> and I'm an adult. Looking, yeah. So forward to uh, looking forward to meeting you on Saturday. Uh, and uh, right here, right now, I want to throw it to Victoria's Secret. Let's take a listen to the track. All right, so this is an original song called Victoria's Secret. I hope you like it. God, I wish somebody would have told me when I was younger That all bodies aren't the same Photoshop, bitty bitty models on magazine covers Told me I was overweight I stopped eating, what a bummer Can't have carbs in a hot girl summer If I could go back and tell myself when I was younger I'd say, Psst. I know Victoria's Secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's Secret She was made up by a dude Oh she was made up by a dude, a dude Victoria was made up by a dude I wish somebody would have told me that thighs of thunder Meant normal human thighs The freaking pressure I was under To lose my appetite and fight the cellulite with Hunger games like every night If I could go back and tell myself when I was younger I'd say, hey dummy I know Victoria's Secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's Secret She was made up by a dude Oh, she was made up by a dude, a dude Victoria was made up by I know Victoria's Secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's Secret <clears throat> I know Victoria's Secret And girl, you wouldn't believe She's an old man who lives in Ohio Making money off of girls like me Cashing in on body issues Selling skin and bones with big boobs I know Victoria's Secret She was never made for me 